Have you ever wondered about the great schools ratings that so many people get focused on? If you're looking at buying a home, I think it's important that you understand what goes into that rating, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman with Homeowner Experience Real Estate. I work with home buyers to help them find the right home, the right neighborhood, and the right combination for their entire household, whether that's schools or lifestyle, et cetera. So today we're really getting into the great school scores because there's a couple things I wanna bring to your attention that you may not have thought of that really could open up your search or provide some other opportunities to get what you want at maybe a better price or to just have less competition to compete against, which could of course be great in this low inventory market of 2023. When you're looking at scores, maybe you're searching on Redfin, maybe you've done a high level search, it's not unusual for buyers to come to me and say, I must have a great school score of seven or more, or even eight or more. But did you know that that summary score has a lot of different factors that go into it, and it actually fluctuates every year. For example, some of the top schools that have always been top schools, those numbers have recently dropped. Why did that happen? Well, there are certain factors that go into that summary score, including the test scores, the academic progress, and the equity. So sometimes schools are not measuring as huge progress. What does that mean? How do you understand that? Well, it's really important to dig into that if that's what's changed to drop the school. But if your overall important characteristic is test scores, then maybe focusing on just that number is the most important rather than the overall summary number. And then there's the equity factor, which may or may not be an important factor in your search as well. So understanding all of these numbers and how they roll up into the summary number is important, yes, but I wanna caution you not to be so black and white with the line that you draw on that overall summary score, but instead to dig into it and understand it further. So you wanna do that here under test scores. So for example, we're on Moreland School district, we're looking at Gussie Baker Elementary, which is an overall seven. I've seen this school be much higher scores before. And as you can see, their test scores are 10 out of 10, which is excellent. Uh, the academic progress number is a little bit lower and the equity number even lower. So I'm guessing that the reason this number has dropped is because these two items have dropped a little bit. But are they important factors for you? That's for you to decide, but definitely you should look into it and understand it. Now, when you're researching schools, dig into those details. It's quite interesting. It's gonna show you by subject. You can even break it down to figure out do females do better or males, and you can be more specific for your particular child and need as to where they might do better. So that's important to understand. So keep clicking and digging into this particular school. But also, I think the parent reviews are a really valuable input as well. You may find out about other programs that exist at this school and look at this range. A lot of five stars. Maybe take a look at the lower ratings are saying. Also, what those higher ratings are saying. There might be some actual extracurricular programs that are really valuable that you think are important for your student. Definitely understanding those factors is a huge piece to making the decision on which school is going to be a good fit for your household. Now, if you're looking at top schools in the San Jose area, you wanna check out our other videos on school scores versus home value, as well as the overview of where to live for top schools in San Jose. This is a whole process of narrowing it down to target three or four neighborhoods so that you can find the right opportunities for you. And if you need assistance with that, we really love working with our YouTube viewers to sit down and understand their particular needs and help with that process of researching and narrowing it down. And certain tools like Redfin, for example, are only searching on that summary score. It could be really important for you to narrow it even further and focus even further, and that's an area where we can definitely help. Now, when you're researching this further information, keep in mind your particular household and student needs. Maybe you wanna compare male versus female performance. Maybe you want to just think about elementary if your student is very young. All these different factors of how long you think you're gonna be here is important factor as well because you maybe wanna look at beyond the elementary school into the middle school, or maybe your children are already in middle school, so elementary doesn't matter. All these different things open up different pockets of opportunity and they're important to consider. Now, taking this information in conjunction with the home value information we discussed further, 
narrowing down what type of home you want, where the best value, what your commute is, can be overwhelming and complicated, but that's why we're here to support you. So check out our links below to the home buyer guide as well as our free home consultation where we can assist you with this process. I personally work in many of these areas of West San Jose, Campbell, Willow Glen, Blossom Valley, Almaden, Cambrian, and I have team members in other parts of San Jose to uh, support you in the North San Jose or East San Jose areas. So hopefully this is valuable information for you in your home search, and we look forward to the opportunity to work together and assist you. I'm Teresa Wellman with Homeowner Experience Real Estate. Thank you so much for joining on this video. I hope you found it really valuable. Please do put your questions below, like, or comment. I'd love to get back to you. When you get serious about finding the next home, even if it's three to six months away, I recommend a buyer consultation. People often ask me tips and tricks for navigating the home buying process, and this buyer consultation meeting is focused on planning and educating you with insider tips. We enjoy putting the best plan together with you to create the best outcome. When we meet, these are things you can expect, things that my best clients say they really appreciated. First off, insider tips for the loan process and our list of favorite lenders, discussion of your purchase power and budget so you understand how banks determine the loan amounts. Third, help you build your ideal property profile with your budget in mind, and also talk through the best tools to use and how to avoid common mistakes. And really valuable is we help you make a strategic plan and timeline to meet your goals. We'll also discuss different neighborhoods and cities and address your questions in this meeting. If these insider tips are what you're looking for, schedule a free buyer consultation with us either in person or on Zoom. Check out the link below.